Did you ever wonder? Did you ever wonder? I do. Did you ever wonder why the sun always rises, but the stars never fall, why dry land is never satisfied by water, and why fire never says enough? Enough. So this morning on Bible Wonders, I had an opportunity to be in prayer. I've been really burdened by what's going on in the country the last couple of weeks. And, you know, I'm praying, asking God for some insight or what's he praying for me or what can I do or what's my role? <laughs> and I'm supposing that prayer might have something to do with what my role is. So as, as I am praying for some reason, all of a sudden, I start picturing this word in Hebrew, although I didn't know what the word was. I was just picturing the letter ayin, which very much looks like a yoke. It all has to do with eyesight as well, but I was picturing this yoke, essentially, what like a yoke would go on oxen, and then the Zion itself, which is originally, in the original um, Hebrew that you'll find the oldest you know, writings like the, in the time of King David or whatever, it was the picture of a plow. And, and so I was thinking, well, that's a really neat picture. Here's a yoke that's connected to a plow. So, you know, with my word being engaged for the year, I thought, well, there you go. I need to, you know, yoke up and, and hit the plow, so to speak. And so I decided to just look up that word in Hebrew since I could see it clearly and see what it actually was. Well, when I did that, I immediately came to Psalms 68, verse 28, which I really think, you know, what my role is right now is <laughs> for this country and a lot of our roles would be to pray Psalm 68. I mean, if you look at the whole Psalm, it's perfect for this season, for what God's doing. But I particularly like verse 28 because it's got that word in it in so many different ways. So that verse says, thy God hath commanded thy strength. So that word with the Ion and the Zion, which again is a yoke hooked up to a plow, is thy strength. And it says, strengthen, O God, that which you have wrought or that which you have worked. And so that word strength is in there three times. The center time, they not only have the Ion and the Zion, but then they put a vav after it, meaning that the, the, this strength is going to come down from heaven. And so clearly God is at work. I mean, he just is in our country right now with all that's going on. And so what a neat thing to pray this morning as you're thinking about it, that God would strengthen your strength from heaven, that you would yoke up to the plow, which in my opinion is simply plowing that fallowed ground, that prayer life of God, strengthen that which you are doing in work and bring light, bring truth into what we're being told so that we can know what's actually going on. So I hope you enjoy praying Psalm 68 uh, today. I know I sure did. Do you ever wonder? Do you ever wonder?